the sled, you fat piece of shit. For the last time, I'm not fat, so stop calling me fat, goddammit! Without ugly in this world, there would be nothing beautiful. Thank you for your sacrifice. Bet you can't make a sense without the letter A. You thought you did something, didn't you? Sorry to burst your bubble, but numerous sentences can be formed without employing the first letter of the English diction. Korg! What the f***? Hey, can you link the polka song we were all disassociating to in the stream? It's stuck in my head, and it's your fault, lol. Hey. Wanna get a song stuck in your head? No. Too bad. Some days, you just gotta listen to your heart and do what feels right. Last time you said that, you bought three bins of ice cream and ate it all in one go. Hey, bro, can I get some of that water? It's not water. Vodka, I like your stuff. It's vinegar. Uh, what? It's vinegar, pussy. <laughs> Hello, Quagsan. Oh, well, can I have a beer, please? Mm. Hey, Craig. How long can you keep noodles in the fridge? Throw them out. Huh? I didn't even tell you when they were cooked. Clyde, for you to even consider throwing food away, it must be absolutely inedible by everybody else's standards. Uh, rude? How old are these noodles anyway, Clyde? Two weeks? Three? I think Token cooked some, like, in January. It's March. Craig. 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 What? What's the math, Homewalker? Why don't you have it? Row 3, seat 2, has a nice ass. That's my seat. Hmm. Ah, this is so nice. The fuck? I heard women like bad boys. You should be fine then. You're bad at everything. You know, if I had the chance, I'd do it all different. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't. I swear, Clyde. You make Stan look like Einstein. Whoa. Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Einstein was ugly. <laughs> Craig! <laughs> High five! Ah! Next time, blood movement. Yeah. Amazing, Super Craig. How you make Wonder Tweak's blood flow through his numerous parts of his body is superb, especially his. Clyde, I will Mega Fist punch the fuck out of you. Ow. I'm bored, and you probably are too. Wanna show me a pic of your massive beasts? Uh. No, what the fuck, Clyde? I mean, uh, sure. I'm never texting you again. Good morning, Glide. Mm. Hi, Tweak and Tweak. You two haven't seen Craig anywhere, have you? Mm. Ah, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. What kind of exam do they do on dead bread? Don't. Toast mortem. Dude, fuck you. I told you sleeping with Bebe was a bad idea. <laughs> You're a bad idea. Craig. <laughs> Let go of me. Dude, plain vanilla ice cream? Boring. Yep, nice and boring. Just the way I like it. How is the most beautiful person in the world doing? I don't know how are... I'm doing great, thanks. <sighs> what should I do with this empty stomach of mine? Cut it out, let's use it as a balloon. I mean, fill it with rocks. <clears throat> Does anyone <laughs> that's normal have any suggestions? Psst! Craig. Psst! 
Craig. Jesus Christ. Sorry, dude. I couldn't wait. I just had to tell someone about these feelings that I just had, and I have no one to talk to. You're the only one I could, like, you know. No, I don't. Discuss my feelings towards, and I, I just, it was so emotional. Like, I, I barely could get dressed, man. But, like, this one time, I was, actually, it was just a few hours ago. We were watching this movie, and I think it was called, um, yeah, it was Marley and me, and like, I felt tears running down my face, but I didn't feel sad. I mean, I felt sad, but like, there were just tears running down my face. Not that I cry. At all. And the baby just, just kind of looks at me and then holds my hand and it was like, oh, fuck. No, I should be comforting her. But like, that's not, that's not considered unmasculine or anything like that, right? Calling you a dingus doesn't even begin to cover this shit. So then I was having like this midnight snack, you know, like I always do at this time. And then I just kind of had this thought to myself, like, what is this all for? What does this mean? Like, I know my purpose in life is to be the ultimate babe magnet. But is that all Clyde Donovan or Clyde Harris really is? Really needs to be in this moment? And then I thought about my dick and its size. And then I wondered, do girls measure status by boob size? And then I looked at this butterfly on the wall and I was like, man, that's a sick ass butterfly. But then I thought, no, that's really gay. But the point is, Craig, the reason why I came over is because you're the only person who I trust in this very moment. And I was wondering, who establishes dominance in the relationship? Because, like, isn't your two... Do you establish dominance by dick size, you know, with your relationship and everything? Because, obviously, if you were hetero, you, like, the dominance, you know, that way. It goes that way, but, like, not to be sexist or anything. <laughs> and then I looked at my dick. And then I thought, could be bigger. <laughs>